installer this screen was minimized so i'm gonna go there so just make sure that you always select the maximum mode out here if you are not going to select that then you are in problem because in standard there are some issues so it's better to go with the maximum mode i'm gonna with them go with the maximum installation and make sure you do not change the path out here i mean no oh, it's tempting to make sure that you install in some separate gaming partition that you have created but this is not this is only 500 mb so you can have it anywhere 500 mb was a big thing at that time but not at this time so i'm gonna press next press next and to install it now so let's wait for the installation as you can see that everything is uh, old setup out here you can just feel the oldness of this game by the setup that they have used it and everything but still you can see the developers brilliance that still we are able to run this game now this is known as something known as robustness compatibility whatever blah blah you have learned in IT if you are a IT person this is a great example of that even running besides the OS that it was not designed for so let's finish the installation it's getting on it's getting on eighty five percent I'm gonna checking out everything setup is running fine so I don't want to read help file now I don't want to have a keyboard control now now this is a standard message that you are gonna see each and every time you gonna play this game minus 1633 megahertz this is below your blah blah expectations specification whatever the crap is just always make sure you press ok because at that time they never imagined to go up to such high speeds so it's going above the threshold so make sure you do not run game now just quit it now just click on here if you have accidentally closed it then you can go it again in my computer just go in that drive just click on auto run.exe make sure you install via this only so next step is to install your os patch which whichever patch you are in please note that windows xp windows 7 is having the same patch so i'm gonna go with windows xp patch because there is no windows 7 patch so i'm gonna go with that now patch is installed it's a very small pop-up screen that you saw third step is optional but i would recommend you to do that i'm gonna have the team editor patch which is not working out here but uh, i guess uh, it's okay to have it installed because it's a convention that install all of the things i have also mentioned it in tutorial and if you can have windows xp sometime in future or on some another partition then you can go with that editor as well because it's working very well in windows xp i'm gonna edit the field editor install 2008 odi kits just click and just leave it it will just process a little bit and it will come back just be patient as you can see it's getting installed in the back end so all the kits are being installed so these are the three optional packs that i have in, uh, included in it and soon you can see it and please note that all these things will work only if you have made the default installation so now you exit the cd make sure that the virtual cd is always inserted while you are using this game or ever want to play this game because this game actually requires always virtual cd to be inserted as in this form as uh, computer has to get realized that this is the uh, this is the legal game or something like that so just make sure that it is always inserted now i'm gonna close each and every window i'm gonna go there in all programs i'm gonna search for the legacy code masters where is this there it is i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go there so it's now gonna start 
Now there are few things that uh, there are some work around drivers regarding the sound card. If you are not able to hear the sound card or if the player freezes at commentary, please see my tutorials or and the FAQs that uh, will help you out for that. Here is the processor speed warning. Just ignore it. Run the game, and uh, for most cases, you might be going with the software mode. So I'm gonna go with that. Just do not go with these other modes because these are exper experimental modes and these were very old chipsets. So there are chances that you might run them and there are also chances that you might not run the graphics in them. So as fail safe in this tutorial, I'm gonna go with the software rendering. So here it is, I'm gonna click it. And now it's gonna launch the CD. Here is the old file. Ignore this thing if you get the error, just press enter, press enter again, and here will you see the old Code Master CD. Just click on there is a sound that you're gonna see. I'm gonna close the sound for the moment. Here it is. Just make sure that you do the defaults, making skill level to test, and most importantly, graphic details to high resolution to high and colors to high so here we can do i'm gonna show you a one quick start so that you can see it. there it is welcome to pakistan for the friendly match here you can pakistan go so i'm gonna press enter now Pindi. i'm gonna do the tails now just see the crowd just see everything just see the ambience it's good <laughs> in terms of that 15 years old software it's still good and the best thing is that I, we have optimized the mood so I'm gonna go up with the bat Saeed Anwar on the toss and elected to bat so let me select I have actually mo uh, modified it and yes you can also modify it so well the umpires are already making their way out to the middle so let's have a look at the two lineups and what are the thoughts from center. these two teams Pakistan, they have a tough task ahead of them if they are to get anything from this match. Pakistan are a superb one day team. Yes, enter again. The first ball. So I'm going to play one ball and then we'll exit it. There you can see the graphics. Everything is playing well. So now I'm going to go and quit the match. Go back in the menu and I'm going to show you a different thing that you might have not uh, heard it before in BLC. It's the team editing. Go into team, just select any team to view, and there you can see this magical thing. This is the editor out there. How you can do that? Just click on there. Here's the player. Just click on the player. Just click here. Just change whatever you do. Just go there and feel free to browse. Just press enter or something. So I'm gonna just leave that thing on you. You can just configure out anything out here. So. Thank you everyone for watching the video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed a lot.